Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and we are continuing vlogging in Sri Lanka. And this day we actually went away from Colombo to upcountry to the center part of Sri Lanka. As you can see, the landscape is changing quite a lot. So you still see a bit of coconut trees, but here is a rubber estate and they are grown in the central province of Sri Lanka. And we are going all the way to the mountains where in a city called Nora Elia, as you can see, you're starting to see a bit of hills in here and the weather has changed. So we started off from Mount Lavinia where the weather was 32 degrees. This is about 19 degrees. So quite the difference in about five hours journey. And these are all tree plantations that you can see. And we also stopped by this gorgeous waterfall. And honestly, Sri Lanka has so much variety. I am just loving this trip. It's been so wonderful and relaxing so far. Hey guys, we just checked into our room in Nuara Elia. So this is our bed. It's so cute and nice. We've got some wardrobe space. Has little, actually quite a big wardrobe. And this is me. I think this is perfect to get ready. And then, oh, I've put all of our luggage in here. And we've got a TV and two chairs, but it's unfortunately a bit foggy at the moment, but you'll have a gorgeous view into the, these tea estates. And I will show you when it's back. And this is the bathroom. So we've got a big shower over there and a sink and toilet here. Here again. <laughs> yeah, very lovely. One of the favorite things about our room is this view. I mean, gosh, look at this. This be gorgeous, beautiful green tea estates. And this is my husband planning for our next day. We were so tired. So here is the room service we got. Traditional Sri Lankan curry and rice. And this is next morning. We had good night's sleep and ordered a big breakfast. And yeah, we're quite ready to explore. It is a Hindu temple in Neuralia and we have just been inside. It's one of the really beautiful, very peaceful places that I've seen and it's absolutely stunning. If you're coming, I would highly recommend this thing here. It's, it's a really beautiful place and then there is also, it's based in Neuralia so you can see a bit of mountains and also the surroundings. This is where it is. We are off to see a waterfall, but it starts on the very top, obviously. So this is quite a hike. So Guys, this is like a tea tree up close. And we are in a small tree estate. We are on the way to see a waterfall. We've been hiking, so I'm a bit out of breath, but it looks stunning. We have a Bit of a long way to go. I think we are going over to the other side, but we have to go up first. This is the kind of what we have to do still, but you get really gorgeous view from here. It is so beautiful. All of that is tea estates. As far as you can see, it's all tea estates, and you see a little town more of a big city over there and if I zoom in you will see the kind of next town as well over there and the plowing grounds and then also next to that is working tea estates and we are upon a bit of a heavy rain storm situation so we need to hike 
onto the top and hike back very soon as well. We are taking a bit of an adventure. We are in a place called Moon Plains. And thank, thank you. you so much. And we are in a Jeep. And that's my husband. And we are about to take a ride into the place. And you guys will be able to see with us. Um, I don't think it's quite the national park as it's such. But nevertheless, it's a beautiful place. And let's go explore. It's a bit of a rocky ride, Oops. but we have just started off. We are, it's a bit of, it's the bumpiest road in my entire life, but it is stunning. It's quite foggy at the moment, but really beautiful nevertheless. We are climbing to the top, so we, parked our jeep over there and for the rest of the hike we are hiking up this is quite high up as you can see almost touching the clouds over there which is really lovely and i've never kind of come to this kind of place before guys look at this view i mean oh my god the bumpy ride and everything was worth it the hike everything this is just breathtaking. <laughs> Guys, we came to a um, vegetarian, well, vegetable garden, and this is passion fruit. This is one of my favorite fruits ever. I mean, this is how they grow it. Look how beautiful. So stunning. And this is a little water pond. And there's quite a bit of vegetation in here. And what I want to go and see is those little rabbits over there. Munching, 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 munching your bay. Everybody's busy munching. That one is a bit bored. Everybody's munching. Always munching. So cute. We are so nicely tired, so a bit of room service, rice and pasta for dinner. Good morning guys from Nora Elia and we are about to actually leave Nora Elia to go to Kandy and um, we had a lovely stay and this is a beautiful place and I will put all the details down below on where we stayed highly recommend it and yeah we are getting ready and going to say goodbye to this beautiful view you guys can't see it at the moment because of the fog but it was so such a beautiful tea estate that we were looking into so very grateful to to be able to have stayed here so let's go to candy hey guys we are visiting one of the biggest tea factories in sri lanka and you see there is a really gorgeous river down and it's called the damra tea we're going to go inside the tea factory and explore. We are at the tea factory and that is the tea factory. It smells really incredible at the moment. This is inside of the tea factory. These are the tree leaves that they have plucked. So I've been learning about how the tea is being made. So the fresh tea leaves come all the way here and then they are going to dry the tea leaves in here which reduces the, the weight in half exactly because they lose all the water weight and then then the dried tea plants the dried tea leaves are then going taken into um, like actual processing of the tea 
And the lady here uh, also described that there are two different types, actually many different types of tea. The golden tea is the most premium one because they only use the kind of the very golden tip, like this one for golden tea. And then the rest of the plant is mainly used for black tea. And then you also have like in black within black tea you have different strength as well so it's been really interesting to actually learn learn about this this is further more processing of the tea actually kind of have a higher temperature it's apparently 125 degrees for 20 minutes before they get on to the next process this is the area of separation so this this is where they separate the uh, actual leaf from the other parts of the tree by weight it's a complicated process actually I never realized tea making was sort of this quite complex and at the end we were treated to so many different cups of teas and they were each very different and it was a wonderful experience. Hey guys, guess who arrived in Kandy and I wanted to show you guys the room and it's a beautiful room in a very beautiful location so let's get started with the room tour. So we entered through this door and I have put some of our stuff down here. This is the bathroom. I absolutely love this kind of granite marble. I wonder if we could have this at home. Hello. And this is the shower area. And then when we come around, we have this kind of space. This is really great for some storage, mini bar. And this is, hello again, um, more to get ready. I think this would be perfect. And this is some wardrobe area as well. And then on to, we have, this is our bed. It's lovely, it's beautiful ceiling patterns. This is very traditional Sri Lankan. And we have a TV, not that we were watching it. It was on the moment we got onto the room. And then a bit of a seating area. But the best part of this room is the balcony it's raining right now but this is our balcony so we've got a flower pot flower pot <laughs> can't talk flower pot there and then a bit of a seating area there and this is the beautiful gorgeous city of Kandy. and that right there let me zoom in is the lake the famous Kandy lake and we will be very happy here and here's the view from the rooftop you are going to see the most of candy basically this is actually more than half of the city of candy you're seeing the lake the town and yeah i i'm just so happy that we could be here and this is the kind of rooftop bar slash kind of viewpoint it's a really gorgeous hotel and we're just having a chill day because it's the weather is not quite on our side so it looks like it's going to pour it down any second so hey guys just got ready for our dinner a date night tonight and i wanted to show you guys my outfit fortunately the room does not have a full length mirror so this is just gonna have to do um let me move over here to see if it's any better okay oh that's bad lighting maybe this is not too bad huh um so i'm wearing my newest necklace from my cleave and it's been such a little special a necklace and my dress is from rixo why meta forte and i am wearing my hermes oran sandals and i think i'm gonna take a green color bag which is this is 
really cute and it's very me and we are off to dinner the grand serendi hotel had like the most delicious food and we were so spoiled for choice and every single dish was so thought through and the flavors were i mean beyond we were so full we had to, we had so many different courses and we had it throughout a peri long period of time then you know you don't recognize how much you're eating this is a traditional sri lankan rice and curry so often you get about six seven different types of veggies and rice so we were thoroughly enjoying our night and honestly we had to sit down for a while after the dinner we were so full good morning guys and hello from candy and we are staying in a place let me get you guys kind of up to speed so we are staying in a place called grand serendip it's a hotel that we found through booking.com we paid in full so there's no ad or anything but it's a beautiful hotel in such gorgeous location the food the food is at a different level like i am such a foodie and i'm fast forward uh, a total fast forward when it comes to like thinking food is any good but these these people just really really nailed it so it's really nice and i mean you've got western options you've got eastern options you've got spicy options you've got non-spicy options so it's it's been really lovely and you guys have seen our room it looks like a bomb site now but it looked very nice when we first got in here and the outside is so lovely i'm sure i, I showed you guys but it's it's beautiful and look at the views this is little balcony for us but um, yeah our neighbor is talking on the phone so yeah we've been having a lovely day i'm wearing the normal kamali swimsuit as a top with my h&m linen trousers i think they're all cat linen trousers actually um and my hermes around sandals and i had my prada bag somewhere so that's the um that's the thing of the day um we are going to actually today later on today we are going to do a to do a spot of shopping but we are also going to go to the most famous tooth relic temple and there's a lot of significance about it i will put like the wikipedia article in the description so you guys can read it and whether you're buddhist or whether you're like interested in these kind of things whether you're buddhist or whether you're actually just interested in like cultural things i think it's a really beautiful place to visit um but i will show you guys when i go there hey guys we are entering the botanical gardens of peritania which is in candy and look how big and ginormous this tree is we're just going to walk around and explore the gardens it will take a couple of hours if you guys come here but you get to see a vast range of trees i mean you see the the body of that tree so cool it's a huge absolutely gigantic bamboo tree means so beautiful From the huge, really tall palm trees to tiny palm trees, what we're seeing right now is a water garden. I mean, I'm not an expert, but I think these are like water lilies and they've got like beautiful white flowers over there. Look how many like tiny little flowers are over there. Focus. There we are, you guys see that? That's really beautiful. Hey guys, don't look at the mess behind me, but I am ready to go to the Tooth Relic Temple. Um, I'm ready to go to the Tooth Relic Temple and this is my outfit. Like, I'm wearing my orange sandals 
and my linen trousers, but I'm also wearing this stunning, gorgeous, the created embroidered Sri Lankan top. So I bought this in Sri Lanka. This is a traditional Sri Lankan top, um, or so I've been told. Um, yeah, we are ready to go. I'm just gonna put on a pair of sunglasses and then off we go to the temple. Hey guys, we are at the cultural center. We are about to see a, a cultural show. We are very excited and there's a big stage and I will show you bits of it when it goes on. Guys, I wanted to show you the night view of the Candy Lake. Isn't this absolutely stunning? So gorgeous. Really beautiful. I think if you look close over there, let me zoom in and you can see a Buddha statue. Another day, another dinner, and we were quite tired from all the exploring we did. So we were quite ravenous and had loads of different causes and food I mean, yes, it, it's honestly like you sit down and magic happens. I love the food here. Guys, next day we went to Siguria. So Siguria is this huge big rock in the more kind of northern part of Sri Lanka. So the temperature again has gone up to 34 degrees on the day that we went. This is the rock and it's in a place basically it's it's a castle that was built on top of that rock and these are the grounds and this is the big rock that you have to go through the lion mouth and it was quite crowded but the views were totally worth it and we had such a good time the views are absolutely amazing and like super windy but you pretty much get to see a really big area and look how nice and green the gorgeous country is. And when we came down, we saw this big pond as well and learned a lot about the kind of architecture, engineering. I mean, this is one of the world wonders. So it's it really fascinates me, the technology they had to they had back in the day to be able to do something like this i mean mind-blowing and it was quite a good thing uh, that we went into the sort of northern part of sri lanka let's say that because we got to actually see loads of different other things as well because there's quite a few attractions around seguria so if you go remember to see the seguria paintings as well um it's it's one of the world's oldest paintings uh, preserved in, in Southeast Asia. So it's really a, a good opportunity to see that. Then we went to a place called Pedurangala, which is very, very close to Seguri. It's just a couple of minutes, but then you could see the Seguri from Pedurangala, which is amazing. It's a lot of hiking, but we got to get, get come down and then enjoy the water as well. It's such a serene and peaceful area and it's really a treat to actually come down to this after the big hike. And this is us seeing the rock of Sigiri again. And then we went to a place called Tambula. It's a cave temple that's built actually inside a cave. And uh, I remember seeing it as a child at some point, but I have not been there in decades. So 
this is us hiking. <laughs> this was actually not the easiest hike. It doesn't look difficult. Hello, monkey. Um, but we were very tired because we've done a lot of hiking that day. And this is all on 33, 34 degrees. But I always say when you do a big hike, you have the views that are worth it. Just like in life, you know, how, ta how sometimes you have to just push through and push through to get the waves. And well, that's what I say to myself. So this is the, the temple. So here we are inside the temple, the temple. So this is the entrance and you can see the temple is right underneath a huge rock. And this is how it looks inside the temple. And it was very, very quiet. I mean, people often don't make any noises or they don't speak that loud, which is out of respect. And it's therefore is, you find so much peace and calm and serenity. And this is a very, very old temple, thousands and thousands of years old. And it's beautifully preserved. And I felt so extremely lucky and sort of, privilege to be able to witness that to to be alive to see it and and to you know i don't know i felt so happy and calm and very content Good morning guys we just woke up to quite a rainy candy and i mean when i say just woke up i've just done my skincare got into a breezy top i'm gonna do a little bit of work today from my laptop and i think that's i mean when the weather clear up <clears throat> clears up we will we shall go outside and enjoy a little bit um my skin is not doing very well i've got like a big spot over there i think it's a bit mad because we are always staying in air conditioned rooms and then when we go out the te temperature and the humidity difference is a lot for this for the skin to take in so i'm getting sort of bit of angry spots and i don't know bit of discolorations and despite of all the sleeping i've got dark circles under my eyes so but um i'm going to edit out some content and yeah I don't even feel hungry. Um, I haven't had either breakfast or lunch because we woke up so late and I think we'll go straight to dinner. And yeah, I'll, uh, if, I, if we go anywhere interesting, I will always take you. Hey guys, I am at one of my favorite places in the entire world, which is the Elephant Open Age in Sri Lanka. This is in a place called Pinawala and I come here every time I come to Sri Lanka and they rescue little baby elephants from various different, you know, natural disasters, human wildlife conflicts and they look after all of them in here. Such a gorgeous place. And we are back at the Mount Lavinia Hotel in Colombo and we are coming towards the end of the trip which is a little bit sad but I am so grateful for the time we had. Good evening guys, we are back in Mount Lavinia as I said. I am by the beach and we are going to go to a restaurant and we are having the uh, a family dinner with my parents and obviously I'm a little bit sad because I don't know when I will get to see them again but it's really it would be really lovely to have another meal with them tomorrow we are going back home. I didn't film anything from the dinner last night because I wanted to really cherish every single second with my family. I hope you guys wouldn't mind. This is the last breakfast before we leave. Our flight is in the afternoon. We made sure we had enough food. I mean, 
goodness, the amount of food we had on this trip is just at another level. And Mount Lavinia Hotel looked after us so nicely. I am so grateful for us to have this place to always come to. And I've known these people for a very long time, so it honestly feels like a second home. And we are going to say goodbye for now, and I hope we will visit soon. I will most definitely miss my family, the ocean, food, and in that exact very order. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye, guys.